Um, first, you know, I just want to, uh, you know, it's the anniversary of Joe Skinner passing, and you know, just send my love to his parents and Molly. And I know they're <clears throat> honoring him today, and they it's probably one of the few games that they miss every year or every all year. And uh, you know, I talked to I talked to Judy this morning, and uh, you know, just you think about him a lot. You know, I wish we did a better job of honoring him on the field. So, and then uh, obviously Ben, just the career home run record. I mean, it's really hard to to do those kind of things and, and have career records. And again, we just couldn't finish the game. You wish it was on a better note that you could celebrate uh, the greatness of, of the career he's had. Um, and um, you know, I'm glad it's over. Um, and, and he's gotten gotten in. We can kind of maybe relax a little bit. Um, and then today we just we just. It's a, it's a tough loss. I mean, we had guys had, had to gut some stuff out and come back on short rest and do all those kind of things. And, uh, but we just, we just pitched terribly. Uh, we just couldn't get ahead. Um, and uh, and every, again, we get off to a great start. And, and then every time we score, we just let them go back out and score. We talked about that this morning. Uh, we've talked about it for the last two weeks, that we just having too many uh, non-successful shutdown innings. When we score, get some momentum going. Even, you know, we're, we're, we're down five, six, seven runs. We score three or four, then we go right back and give one back. And, we, and again, I think uh, almost every inning we scored this today, they, they scored again. Um, and we just, just kept cutting off our momentum. And then we just had a bunch of older guys that just couldn't get the job done. Um, uh, when we needed it, uh, we, we could have scored 20 runs today. We just left way too many guys on base and just non-competitive at bats um, when we really needed it. And every time we got a little momentum going, we get you know, second and third, one out, bases loaded, no out, score some runs. We should be able to put the game away, and, and we just get terrible at bats. And uh, when you add all that stuff up together, I mean, defensively, uh, cost us a run or two, just not being able to, to to turn routine ground balls into double plays and, and things like that. So it was just a little bit of everything. And I know again, on the mound, we're just running on fumes today, um, but. Um, you know, so were they, um, and, and they had plenty of guys with ten and a half ERAs that figured out how to get outs, um, and, and we just didn't. What does Cam got to do to extend his outings? It seems I know he's a lot of potential, but yep. and get, give you four or five innings. Yeah, I mean, just land off speed for strikes. I mean, the big thing today for him was just not being able to land the curveball enough for strikes, um, and just getting behind in the count. Um, and uh, and again, his fastball is good enough to be able to overcome some of that, but it's more about the pitch count. And I mean, he's throwing 60 something pitches in three innings and going into the fourth inning. I mean, it's just really, really tough to extend outings when you when you can't land the breaking ball, get ahead, and be able to put people away, uh, like we've seen him do. Um, and uh, you know. Again, tough conditions today, but we got to be better and figure it out. You mentioned the starters not being able to go deep over the three-game series. Yeah, and that just kept putting yeah pressure on your bullpen. Yeah, I mean that's that's it should be every offense's goal is to try to get starters out, and we talk about it all the time in offensive meetings. Get to the bullpen, try to wear them down, even if it's a loss on a Friday. Um, you know, if you can get some guys in the game and, and wear them down and have to have to go down the line with with pitchers. But I thought both teams kind of you know did that. I mean, we did a great job of working guys and, and making them uh, raise their pitch counts uh, offensively. But we just we couldn't get the big hits. And again, like we're just when you when you got to gas the bullpen two days. Like it, it, it's tough on Sunday to, to to try to get outs. And you know, again, we had stags. Kramer really uh, had limited pitch numbers today, and uh, we tried to use them for those in the biggest moments, and you know, it just didn't work. With Ben McKay, what was it like? Just I guess going back recruiting him, and did you see him like having a record-breaking kind of career like this? No, I don't think you ever see that stuff. Uh, I mean, it's real so hard recruiting, recruiting kids so early. I mean, you're just hoping that some of them are good, and um, and so I don't think you really know, and especially the catching position, like. You know, I knew he had some backside power um, that I, I saw him hit some 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 deep balls or home runs. Um, you know, into right field when he was in high school and stuff. Um, but really, you know, you're, you're recruiting that position to catch. Um, and uh, you know, so I don't think you ever really. It, it's just such a hard game and so unpredictable. And I mean, most of the time, you you never get what you think you're going to get, whether that's good or bad. Like you get kids you don't think are going to be the best players and they end up being great players and you get kids that you think are going to be all world and, and they can't live up to the hype like so I mean I, I, it's all over the map it's just you try to get 30 38 39 guys and, and you know hopefully half of them you know are decent I mean, his name will go down in the record books program history what can you see about him as, as a team leader and a yeah. great ambassador I mean, for he's the just program. been such a huge part of our program and such a great kid academically uh, off the field just a great human being um, and uh, you know it's been a big part he's, he's really turned into a great leader um, you know, especially behind the plate uh, this year, getting back there and you know, not being able to catch the last couple of years, whether it was injury or, or just ne necessity of him having to play first base and us having Crouch, like um, after catching a lot, you know, early in his career, and 
Um, never complained, but, but been the, just the leadership behind the plate with our pitching staff and just what he does in, on practice days and just trying to help guys. And um, But even offensively too, I mean, just such a um, great example for all the younger guys that what, what, what it's supposed to look like and just the longevity and being able to be successful. Like it's, I'm really proud of him. I'm, I'm obviously I'm super grateful that he's a part of our, our program because um, you know, when people look at our program, the, 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 that's the guy that's at the front, and uh, you know, that makes me really proud. What's the biggest difference in the Ben McCabe you saw first come on to UCF as a freshman versus the one that you've seen? Um, I mean, just the maturity, um, and just in terms of leadership, and you know, he, he um, a little goofy, you know what I mean, early in his career, just this, that young, goofy kind of kid, and uh, but has really just grown into his, his own person and leads his own way, but it's just, um, it's just been fun to watch and, and obviously fun to see him have so much success and uh, excited to see him, you know, wh whatever he's going to do after this this year, is he's going to be really, really successful at it. Whether that's baseball or not, like time will tell, but um, you know, he's just such a great kid and, and uh, you know, I can't wait to see what he does after this. Describe that leadership style the way he yeah. I mean, it's just he puts his, puts his head down, he's not a yeller and a screamer, but he, he's going to try to help you. Um, he, he's not just saying like, you know, figure it out. Like he's going to be there right, right every step of the way with you, and, and try to help you, and um, try to make you better. And he understands that it's not just about him being great, but how do you make others? You know, how do you make yourself great? We talk about lift while you climb. Like how do you lift everybody below you and try to make them better with you and take them with you? Not the guy that is just worried about himself or chasing this record or chasing numbers or chasing the draft. Like he's really trying to get better and and bring his teammates with him, which is the, the ultimate uh, to me, the ultimate compliment. Uh, North Florida up next, and then the three-game road series against the Wayne. How important are those games, and what do you guys need to do with them? Well, I mean, every game's important, right? And we just got to continue to try to be better and get better. Um, try to be the best team we can going into Clearwater. Um, and we got 13 opportunities left to go try to do that and uh, continue to work on the things that we're, we're not very good at right now and get sharper and, and try to stay healthy and, and try to win as many games as we possibly can to, to get some momentum going into that. I mean, just be more consistent. Um, you know, just the lack of consistency of, you know, one day one one guy's there and, and the next day is another guy. I'd rather have, you know, a slightly above average guy and know what I'm going to get every every single game than, you know, hot and cold. So just being able to be consistent, execute pitches. Like, you're going to give up pitch. You're going to you're going to things are going to happen, but be able to come out and, and be able to handle that. Be able to handle whatever stuff you have that day, and, and just be more consistent. How can you find that consistency? Well, I mean, you just got to grow up, right? Like, you, you've been through the fire. We've been through so much turmoil and, and ups and downs of the year. Like, you, we should be a hardened group, you know what I mean? And, um, and again, we've so, showed some of that, getting down on Friday and being able to come back. Like, you know, we're showing some of that metal. Um, but the same thing, each individual has to be the same way. Like, whether you're a freshman, whether you're a senior, I mean, we're, we're 50 or 45 games in right now, 43 games in right now, whatever it is. Like, um, no matter where you are in your journey of, of college, like, you've got a lot of experience now. And so whether it's putting in the work in practice, putting the work in on a day-to-day -day basis, and then learning from all of your experiences and learning from others' experiences and being able to go out there and just be present, be mentally tough, and just trust your stuff, like, um, you just gotta do it on a daily basis and you can't allow what the score is, what the scoreboard says, like, if we lost yesterday, won yesterday, none of that's matters. Just be present, uh, worry about doing your job, and, and do it to the best of your ability until we tell, tell you to get out of the game and put somebody else in. And so, we've got to find a way to continue to, to grow on that. Great Thanks, guys. Thank you.